Did you hear the good news about climate change? Companies in Canada and across the world are coming up with innovative ways to make useful products with carbon dioxide instead of releasing it into the atmosphere. Today we're looking at how a company in Calgary has developed technology that can take carbon dioxide and use it to help make useful products such as cement, bicycle frames, and plastics. The Carbonova story got started by Dr. Mina Zabarian and her co-founder, Dr. Pedro Pereira at the University of Calgary. They were looking for ways to convert carbon dioxide into something more valuable. They were able to develop a technology that turned carbon dioxide and methane into carbon nanofibers. Carbon nanofibers can be used in many different applications, concrete, cement, and construction, and a lot of everyday life things as well. Things like the cover for my cell phone. This is made from carbon fiber. Carbon fibers are used in many applications where you need lightweight and strength. Things like bicycles, badminton rackets, golf clubs, all where weight is important, but you need to maintain strength for safety and other purposes. Great applications for carbon fibers. Carbonova told us that they believe their new technology can make carbon fibers for less than the cost of producing them right now low cost compared with conventional. One of the other critical differentiators we have in terms of our product is not only cost, it's our carbon footprint. So many of the other sources of carbon nanofibers require significant amounts of energy and typically hydrocarbon based energy sources that have a large CO2 footprint. What's unique about our technology of course is we consume CO2. So we can actually get to a negative footprint for our product. Now that Carbonova has developed their technology, they're seeking investors to build their first ever commercial sized unit to start mass producing carbon fibers. But they are not the only company that is doing exciting things in the carbon tech space. In Ontario, Pond Technologies is using CO2 to make biofuels, cosmetics, and phacosanin, which is used to make blue food coloring for things like M&Ms. In New York, Ether Diamonds is making you guessed it, diamonds. Dyeco, a company in Amsterdam, is using CO2 to dye clothes, a process that also helps to cut down on water usage. So what can governments do to help this emerging industry? One option would be to pay companies to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. You could think of it kind of like how a city government would hire a company to remove garbage from a city park. This approach would help Canadian carbon tech companies grow and eventually be able to export their technology around the world, ultimately reducing carbon dioxide. So where would the money come from to pay these companies? Well, the world is going to use oil and gas for decades to come. Governments in Canada could approve more oil and gas projects, including pipelines, but they could take some of the billions of dollars those projects would pay in taxes and use the money to reduce emissions. To learn more about Carbon Tech, please visit secondstreet.org and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.